Hello, Dr. Massat here, and we're talking about setting up a Canon Pixmar printer TS3400 series. Now, so far, we've inserted the cartridges. That was a previous video. And now we're going to actually set up the printer so it gets working. So um, it's turned on. We should have a zero in the display here, which means that the ink cartridge has been successfully installed and now we need to link it to our computer so we go to the nearest computer which is here and in the search screen we type https colon forward slash forward slash i j dot start dot canon okay and this should bring up the canon website and here we are now there's a button here called setup and we click on that in the box at the top we need to type in the model number now this one is a TS 3450 and that appears on the list we just select that and press go um, the next screen that should appear is a big start button and a picture of your printer so just press start and first time setup because it's a new printer okay um, we've removed all the tape, so we've done that. Uh, we've turned it on, done that. We've installed the ink cartridges, which I've done a separate video on. We haven't loaded the paper, but I will do that shortly. And that's the preparation complete. So now we need to connect to the computer. Now what we need to do is we need to get some software onto the laptop, which is really easy to do. Um, there's a download button here, which you just select. Now this will give you basically the, if you look down here on the bottom left of the screen, it will show you the software downloading. Now once that's downloaded, you simply open it by clicking on it and a screen will appear here. Uh, what you need to do is press Start Setup and Next. And here it's acquiring information about what drivers and what software is already on the laptop. So you just got to bear with it for a little bit as it works through. There you go, you can see the green bar moving across. And here we go. Uh, license agreement, so you just click yes. Obviously you read every single word before you do that. I do. No, I don't. Uh, agree to the services and now it starts processing. Checking the printer status. So that's a positive sign. It uh, basically looks like it's connecting to the printer. Um, hopefully via Wi-Fi to see what's happening with it. Okay, now here we've got the connection method. Um, you've got a choice of two. The top one is Wi-Fi and the bottom one is USB connection. That's where you connect the printer directly to your computer with a cable. Now I'm going for Wi-Fi connection. So I can click next and it says check that the printer is turned on. So I'm going to quickly do that. It is. So we can click next. Now what it's doing now is trying to see if it can find the printer on the network. I'm guessing it's going to need a network key. So let's run it through that. 
and see if you can detect it. Okay, so um, it says it could not find any printers on the network. So we need to go to the next screen and here it says we've got to prepare the printer. So we've got to press and hold the following button for three seconds. I'll show you which button that is on the printer. Okay, if you look at the printer, there's a little one with links here and you press and hold that for three seconds. And if you look at the display screen, it's showing that it's transmitting there. You can see there, that transmitting button there, which is a little bit more promising. Let's go back to the laptop. And press next. So let's see what happens. It's uh, saying that it's searching for printers. Connect the printer to the following wireless router. And that's good. It's picked up the wireless router. So basically, when we turned on the Wi-Fi, it's saying, yes, I'm on the network and I need to connect to BT H6AS73, which is my router. So we want to click, yes, I do want to connect to that. So the network connection is temporarily disabled during setup, um, but this is going to take a few minutes, so I'll let that run through and I'll continue in a second. Okay, so um, basically it ran all the checks and it's now come up with a screen saying connection completed. So we need to click on next and now it's installing the drivers. So this will take about two minutes, so I'll leave it to do that and then come back to you. Yay! And we now have one working computer. Thank you for your time.